Bitcoins haven't just bounced over the last few weeks. Some of them have fully recovered, if not making new highs. The strength of meme coins has been very impressive. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at the charts and do some analysis on some of the blue chip memes in the space, discussing what could be next for them. But I'll also be sharing some meme coin alpha that I believe can perform extremely well going into the end of this year. If you do enjoy the video, please do drop a like and subscribe, but let's start by taking a look at Pepe. So the thing is here with Pepe is this is probably one of the strongest meme coin performances recently because it didn't just recover. Like we said, some of them made new hires and Pepe is the perfect example here. So if we go back to the previous all time high, we're going back way down here, May 2023. This was actually retested as a key level before that next leg up. The whole market crashed in April and meme coins, you know, didn't escape that by any means. And the reason for this is probably because when it comes, to, when a market crash comes along, most people holding fundamentally strong coins, they feel comfortable to ride the wave or at least more people do. But when it comes to meme, there seems to be much more panic across the market. So from the top there, we actually seen the market crash around 65% and many people when this opportunity came, including myself, probably looked at it and thought, you know, the meme coin rally is over, we had a good run. But it wasn't the case, we seen that next leg up and like I said, it wasn't just a recovery or a bounce, it was complete strength going into new highs. Now, if we were to see the same again, a retest of that previous high that I've marked out here as a second level, we'd be looking at a pullback of around 40%. So if it did come, of course, emotions would tell most people that it's over and it's not a good buy and we'll wait for that trend to pick back up, but it could actually end up being a really good opportunity to jump on board. Now, if we look at market cap here, we can see that the market cap now is at around $6 billion. You're going to hear the stories of people jumping in at five, 10, 20 mil market cap and they're riding this into the sunset and doing extra extremely well, which is great. But one thing we have to keep in mind here is there still is an opportunity to, take, to make money. We've seen meme coins go much higher, such as Doge in 2021, running to around that $90 billion mark. Now I'm not saying Pepe will do that, but it just shows that memes can go much higher than anybody expects. But on the flip side, we do have to be realistic here at a six bill market cap. This is no longer the 100x gem or even the 1000x gem that it once was. Next up on the list, we have Flowkit. And this is one of my picks for May. I do a monthly video, free altcoin picks for the month ahead. And this one was one that performed extremely well. Now, the next video for this series will be coming out on Tuesday. So do subscribe and put the notifications on if you want to check that out. But right now we can see a similar kind of process to what we've just discussed with Pepe, but you could argue that it is lagging behind. So one thing I was keeping an eye on was this ascending triangle. We've seen the breakout, we've seen the retest, a little bit of deviation before then that big leg up. Now, how high did it actually get? It basically ran to them yearly highs that we've seen back in March. We can see this over here and we had a few levels marked out as key levels so this did form as resistance for the time being at least again some wicks above no real solid 8 hour 12 hour daily close above the level and then we've seen a drop off with basically the rest of the market or at least the rest of the memes that we're seeing right now so one thing that I'm keeping an eye out for now is reclaiming this key level that we have marked out here. We can see that it was resistance for some time on the way back down. So if we can get back above here, this could offer a decent opportunity to enter again before that next leg up. Now, of course, if you want to play level to level, you'll just be looking at these yearly highs. And then if you jump out, it could be that you decide once this truly gets flipped, we see a solid daily close, 12 hour close, whatever works for you retest the level and then we're off to the races for new yearly highs so that's something to keep an eye on with Floki. and then we have whiff which is one that i've been documenting quite closely on twitter recently because i really like the look of this breakout we can see here that we had a bit of range in price action and then at around the three dollars fifty level we've seen some resistance we've seen a pretty good breakout above the level and then the question for me was, will it be retested as support before that next leg up, potentially to the highs? Because again, compared to Pepe, you could argue this is now lagging behind.
mind. Now the level actually didn't hold and we can see now we're back below the level. Is it potentially being retested as resistance? Now in a bear market, I'd be looking to short this all day long. I'd be looking to run it back to them range lows. Could it happen? Yeah, of course, but shorts, generally speaking, for me at least, are not the play during a bull market. So what I'd be looking for now, removing this arrow because it didn't hold, is for this area that we have in this uh, rectangle here to actually reclaim the level, making this deviation support, and then off we go to them highs. So that is the play that I'm looking for on whiff right now as a potential lag play behind Pepe. And lastly, very quickly, we have Bonk. Now, I haven't drawn out any levels here because to be honest, the price action for me at least just isn't as clean as other blue chip meme coin plays. But just to paint the picture very quickly, I think this looks very similar to Floki. We've seen that recovery, amazing recovery, some really good strength, but again, just still not quite breaking through them highs that we've seen back in around February, March time. So at this point now, I'd be looking for some lower time frame bullish market structure to start forming, you know, slowly creeping back up towards these highs. And then the big one will be, you know, flipping this key level, roughly speaking, getting above there, new highs, and then off we go into, for Bonk's case, price discovery as it wasn't around at higher levels in 2021 compared to Floki. But again, it just really paints the picture of the strength that we're seeing still in the meme coin culture. So that's basically my view on these blue chip coins in the short term, looking at the charts and analysis and so on. But what is the future of meme coins in the midterm, in the long term for the rest of this bull cycle? And for me, I do think they will continue to rise and go up and this hot narrative of meme coins will continue to play out. Now, the reason I believe this is because as retail continue to enter the space, people tell their friends and family about these meme coins blowing up, going up and up and up. People are gonna to wanna to get involved in that. And it is because quite frankly speaking, people don't really want to invest, they want to gamble. And that is exactly what meme coins are with the lack of fundamental value. Now, if people want to invest, you know, that's a completely different story, but everybody just wants to gamble and make some money. We have to accept that's the realistic situation here. Now, I can't say that for absolutely everyone, but the percentage is extremely high. And these people will have two choices to make. They can either get involved in these blue chip plays where maybe the 100x opportunities have passed, but they might settle for a 2, a 5, a 10x. You've got to bear in mind, like Pepe, what we looked at earlier, these market caps are now in the billions for all of the coins that we've just looked at. But on the flip side, they may want to be a complete degenerate. They'll get involved in these low cap meme coins, try and catch the next big winner. But with that one winner, you probably will find yourself with 100 plus losers because the numbers are against us. You look at the amount of meme coins being spun up on a daily basis, it is getting pretty crazy. So investing in meme coins used to be very simple. You just find a dog coin, you buy it and it goes up. That was the world of meme coins. But now as time goes on, as this small niche continues to develop, we're seeing different metas, different alpha plays within memes itself. So two that are on the rise right now that many people are talking about on Twitter and so on is celebrity plays and politics. Now, when it comes to celebrity plays, we've seen this all before. If we look at this tweet here, this spreadsheet, we can see back in 2020, 2021, there was a number of different celebrities that actually created or was affiliated with projects that didn't work out very well. We can see here at the top, Kevin Hart was the best return on investment here at a minus 76%. Most of them at minus 100%, including Soldier Boy, who famously was involved in crypto back in them days, also at Kim Kardashian and so on. So it really wasn't a good look for celebrities. So when these coins come out now, like Jenna, like Mother that we've seen this week, they're already up against it because we have to be skeptical. We've seen this before. 
But on the flip side, we actually do have the likes of these political coins. We've got the likes of Trump and Bowden. And just last night, we seen that Trump was uh, convicted. And now we have the whole discussion around whether it's bullish, it's bearish. Now, the Trump coin did initially drop 35%. Bowden went up 20% after Trump was found guilty. Now, for me, looking at the reaction on Twitter, this was... A pretty obvious buy. I bought the dip because it felt like it was an obvious play that there would be at least a bounce. Now we actually seen Trump's uh, website crash for his donations after this news which sounds backwards but you know it really shows the state of politics in the US right now and we're not going to get into that today. But for me this feels like a meta play looking at Trump going into the end of this year and more specifically heading into them elections later this year. It does feel like he is in the driving seat even after being convicted last night. And with this play with the Trump coin being at around a 670 mil market cap right now, this again is for me no longer a 100x gem, but it does feel like a solid meme coin play for the end of 2024. So that is all for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Just a reminder that the next video on Tuesday will be free picks for the month of June. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you turn them notifications on. But that being said, when you are investing in meme coins, do remember that it is all speculative. Whatever you invest in can always go to zero. That is a possibility. We have to be sensible. Only risk what you can afford to lose. In the meantime, please don't forget to trade safe, invest safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.